Well, today we have a lot of enemies to go through in order to fight a big old boss man in Sigil of the Magi, which is also sponsoring this video. First, we need to place our units so we can put Mr. Knight at the front of everything, and then our archer behind him, and the wizard behind him as well, so they're protected. And they also benefit from being right next to each other, so let's start this. It's my turn to begin with, and the knight's just gonna deal eight damage to you right away, and then eight more damage. And now he only has 10 health left, so the archer should take him out right away. Way. and we'll bow perfect now we just have to deal with the dogs oh it's ah it just bites the archer right away rude but you're in a puddle now and puddles inflict vulnerable on units occupying this tile so they receive more damage from attacks that's perfect so the wizard staff can just come in and deal 12 damage to you but now the dog is too close to the archer for her to do anything. At least she can attack the far one. And bam, very nice. Now the dog is still going to attack the archer. So let's go ahead and have the mage give the archer some armor. That should protect them a little bit longer. And then the archer has their own armor card, but we can put that on the shelf for later. So now the knight will get his own armor for being next to allies. Ah, the wizard takes a bite and the dog bites the archer, but the armor holds up. Now the archer can take out this dog and then just move one or two tiles up this way to get away from the dog which puts him in range for the last shot and that's a victory so we get some gold and we get a new card to our deck like this exacerbate ability for the knight deal five damage if the target loses hp attack again i think yes so now we get to proceed and then we get a little resty fire so we can heal our guys or upgrade a card the archer took quite a bit of damage so let's heal you up pretty nicely and then go into a big fight with a big dog my goodness let's get the knight shifted forward first so they're kind of targeted they're a bit tanky so they're fine and then we'll move the wizard up as well into the bush and you have a basic range attack which puts the knight in range except you're gonna want to target the archer first that's interesting but you're attacking the knight so we'll give the knight some defense and then we can shelf some of these attacks for later and the dog is going straight for the archer and he can summon warhounds what i don't like the looks of this you're moving and attacking yep armor holds up oh and you're in a puddle and the dog goes, oh. Now let's move the knight up here because since both of these are technically occupied, he gets armor at the end of his turn, which would be good for him. And then we'll do some good damage on you because you're vulnerable. That's very nice 14 damage there. And then the wizard just needs to move up a little bit more to finish off this guy. Nicely done. And the archer is not really doing anything in the back there, so we'll move you up. And you can't do anything yet. That's fine. We'll shelf your attack for now. Actually, you know what? The dog is looking to attack the knight and he can definitely get close enough so we'll grant you some additional armor ah the wizard got attacked what why all right fine there's a war dogs like little puppies to the big one Ooh, but now the archer can use far shot for nine damage but the puddle adds extra 13 on that one hit very nice why don't we just have everybody attack the war dog right now just to make this easier Ooh, and we can add wound to you yes 18 damage on that very nice all of them seem like they want to attack the wizard why don't we just have the knight provoke you for better things just to keep everybody safe. And then you gain armor in case the archer tries something. And the knight still has the opportunity to use the shelf card to just stab the dog. Nice. And you're just attacking the wizard because you're rude. You're going to attack the knight, but you deal no damage. And yeah, everybody's just biting the wizard. Ah! All right, let's get the wizard out of here for a little bit. And since he's next to the archer, she gets additional power, but sadly she can't hit anybody unless I move her. And I don't want to because she gets better damage. So we'll just use the wizard's staff to attack this dog once and then exacerbate from the knight should finish you off there we go reduce the numbers and we can also give magic armor to somebody but they still want to attack the wizard so we'll give you the armor that should work just fine and yep wizard gets attacked and the war dog just gave some armor to the other puppy all right the knight's gonna slash once to get rid of the armor and then exacerbate to hopefully oh not quite finished off but then if the archer moves up here then the big dog is in range and you're done very nice big threat eliminated now we just need to make sure everybody else survives so wizard gets more armor just gotta keep the wizard alive ah what makes wizard so tasty to you guys all right far shot to you to get rid of you and then a wizard staff to finish you off very nice now there's only one left and the archer does more damage currently so you get shot and maybe if i move the wizard farther back he's less of a target still kind of is which is not good let's see what the archer does yep moves and and just shoots the wizard. What did the wizard ever do to you? All right, fine. Wizard staff, and then get shot. Ha! 
We win. Ooh, and that gives us a card so we can get Gust of Wind for knockback. I like that. And a Ring of Might. Every 10th card played will deal double damage. Oh boy. And we get to a shop, which we have a lot of money. So we should be able to get a lot of good things. And one of the things we can get is a wooden fish. If two or fewer cards are played, gain one mana next turn. Storing cards does not count as playing. Interesting. I like that. And these cards are actually pretty cheap. So we can get a Gale Shield. That'll be good for pairing up with the Knight. We'll buy that. And that's really all I care about. So we'll move on. The wizard is not looking very good. But we are about to encounter a big boss. So let's get an additional card from this encounter here and see what's waiting up here. Wait up. A traveling merchant comes running up to the champions. Takes a moment to collect before launching a sales pitch. For a small fee, I'll show you three random cards and you get to have whichever one you please. Well, that's easy enough. So do I want Kona Flame or a Bow Whack? which is a melee hit for the archer, but it knocks them back. I like the cone of fire. Ooh, and if we upgrade it, it'll deal no damage to champions. Yes, please. Oh, and we could do it again? Well, sure. The dual shot for the archer sounds good. And we have just enough gold to do it one more time. Ooh, a whirlwind, deal 10 damage and inflict provoke to all the adjacent units. Yes. And with that, the merchant is off. No doubt seeking his next customer. Cool. Let's use those in a fight. Oh gosh, kind of surrounded in this one. And that's a big guy right there. We'll put the knight up that way. And then let's just have the wizard kind of hang back hopefully to not deal aggro so let's put the knight right here and then the wizard can give him gale shield which will knock back that guy and since he's on the edge of the map he should take damage yes and then both of these guys are just going to boost each other right away so they're not a threat we'll just blast you with the wizard staff and then slash you so they're giving each other a power boost and the knight got targeted by the archer that's good now the archer can take out the guy up here we'll move the knight to to meet the archer just to kind of be there and then the wizard will grant armor to the archer because the archer is going to target the archer it's an archer fight and since we have met the two card limit for the wooden fish let's go ahead and shelf this one that'll give us extra mana in the next turn big guy's moving again oh no archer gets tapped in the back and shot that's rude but at least it's not the wizard oh cone of flame but i need enemies to be close for that so why don't we just go ahead and do that to keep the archer safe so we just toast you a little bit and then overextend to hit the archer for some good damage and then the shoot ability that we shelved should be enough to take you out nicely done but now oh, you're no. very close and you're wanting to target the wizard i don't like that let's move the knight back here and then give you provoke so you don't target anybody else and then since i have additional mana left oh 14 damage i think yes oh that's beautiful big guy moves the oh no he targeted the wizard because he couldn't get through i didn't think about that okay retreat you wow you're very hurt but then let's just have the knight close in and finish off you. Very nice. And then let's get the archer somewhere more advantageous, like a bush. So she can use dual shot to hit this guy twice. One and two. And you're going for the wizard still, but you can't quite reach him yet. So he's safe. Doesn't mean I don't want to move him though. Oh no, the archer was in range and suffered knockback. Yikes. All right, but we'll overextend to hit you for 12 damage. The knight's not doing any good around there. So let's move you up. And now the wizard is the target. At least he would be if the giant could reach him, but he can't. So we'll go for the knight next. Let's just have the archer shoot you and then give you some armor just in case. And yep, targeted the knight. Now the exacerbate should be enough to take you out. At least almost. Bruh. One health left. Really? You know what? Just whirlwind you. Just do it. Yeah. Take it out. Okay, now we get one final rest. We'll use an individual heal on the wizard because my goodness, he was very close to dead there. And now we get to the boss, which is a master archer for or a hunter supreme. A hundred 152 health points my goodness move the knight up and let's get the archer to a more advantageous position and the wizard can help you two out and the knight could reach that guy but he'd be in a puddle i'm not a fan of that idea let's move him into the bush next to the rock so that's double armor bonuses for him and then give you some shielding and then the archer can overextend to hit you for 13 damage bam knight gets poked that's fine and knight gets shot ow it dealt some actual damage there and what is that crippled move it restricted to one tile oh boy okay but the archer can take out you right away oh 15 damage that is beautiful and the knight is also looking
looking to be the subject of everyone's affection. So the wizard will give him more armor because I feel like this is going to hurt. Oh, especially that triple hook. Ugh. Oh, knockback there. Knocked him out of the bush. But he is still alive and took no damage. And the bleed didn't kick in either. Okay, let's move the knight back into the bush and then use the heavy swing on the big guy. Whoop bam So we got a lot of good hits on that. And then the archer can deal 15 damage. And if the wizard moved right over to here, we can take him out. Nicely done. That should keep everybody okay for now. Knight gets hit. All right. I see your hit and I counter you with a heavy swing. Oh, I love that move. And then 14 damage for you as well. Whoa! Just one shot ya. All right, everybody's looking pretty good here, but let's move the knight down to meet the hunter. If I move the wizard down, then the gale shield can benefit the knight to push back the hunter. I like that idea. Even though the wizard gets ah targeted right away and now he's crippled. Okay, now the gust of wind will do really good because the hunter is next to the rock. So just knocking into that for additional damage. Let's go ahead and move the hunter closer so the far shot will connect. And then the wizard staff will also connect. And the knight can move up and then properly deal some exacerbate for 10 damage total. Very nice. The knight is being a target as he should, but now he has bleed. The wizard's going to be the target now for 11 damage. Okay, you're definitely getting that to negate most of it. And now nothing else can really help me here. At least I'll get more mana next turn. Just one damage there. All right. Ooh, and now you're next to the knight. Aha. Well, this would be good for dealing 10 easy damage and then provoking you. And now the archer can overextend for some good damage there. A slash from the knight and 14 damage from the wizard staff. Moving back and hitting. So the archer will come right down here. Dual shot you for okay damage and then far shot you for just as much damage. So let's move the wizard down here to be adjacent with the archer and then give him a defensive aura so they both have armor. Now his health is pretty nice right now, but if I just move the wizard a little bit closer, archer, move out of the way. Wizard, get a little bit closer. Gust of wind to knock you into the rock. That gets rid of the armor and then some. Just one move up and there it is. Yeah, eight damage there. Well, if I move you closer, then I can gain myself some armor and then knock back the unit and bah just to do that a little bit might as well just use two attacks there and now the wizard's getting targeted oh boy and you're gonna deal 13 damage okay wizard definitely gain magic armor and then defensive aura i don't care about any adjacent allies to keep the wizard alive there we go he's alive so if i get the archer to the other side of the knight then your abilities are in range that'll be good you get a little bit of bonus damage from the wizard there we go 26 health left we almost have this okay at least all you're doing is getting a buff for healing a little bit so i'm okay though i need the wizard and the archer to switch places to line up the shots just to get rid of that armor as quickly as possible and deal some bonus damage nice wow that is some major damage and the knight is almost gone i need the knight to deal some major damage but at least uh oh uh, okay you're alive this is hurting really bad but now the knight can get right up in your face hi oh. there exacerbate for five 10 damage and then whirlwind for the rest of it Ooh, 20 damage i like this wow nicely done hunter taken care of so we get a card to the deck Ooh, knocked and ready or roar of courage or life drain Ooh, life drain yes i like this and then we move on and everybody's healed up that's good and it seems like the top path might have the most rewards but until we get them let's just go to combat so we can get that investigation Ooh, and there's a rune on the ground so let's put the knight there to begin with and then everybody else can be right behind him so we can take out some of these bats and probably avoid the mushrooms because they inflict poison. Although it'd be fun if the enemies move through the poison. So Knight can go right up here, which puts him in targeting range of everybody. But that's okay because we can give him some armor. And the wizard can also give him some armor by being next to him. And then we'll just go ahead and shelf this dual shot here. So now the bat moves up and you moved up. Nobody's in the poison yet, but that's okay. Moving the knight out of the way and then the wizard can take his place. So the cone of flame can hit all of them. Hiya! And then they can just go back to what they were doing. Both of them are targeting the wizard right away. That's not good. The archer needs to be in a much better spot. So, whoop. Wizard gets bit. Oh, 11 damage and some lifesteal on that. Well, that's a yikes. Ooh, but the slime moved through the poison. All right, well, thankfully the wizard has his own life drain, but that's only if the target is killed. So we'll need to soften you up a little bit. So let's hit you with a heavy swing. Well, bam. And then some whirlwind to knock you into your friend. And then the life drain. Yes. For three HP. Not the 
greatest amount. But let's move you to the tile for some armor. And then the archer can dual shot you for additional damage. And then the knight has enough action to whirlwind the bat. And we still have a mana left over. So let's just hit you to get rid of you. Bam! Perfect. And the archer is going to be attacked by the slime again. So you can get some armor. Oh, now you're poisoned. All right. Well, Gale shield the archer to push back the slime so you can get shot. Nicely done. Oh, and you split. But one of the splits ended up in the poison. That's amazing. And the far shot can take care of you right away. And the slime wants to target the archer, but the armor will negate all the damage. Go ahead, do that. Yep. And then life steal the slime to finish it off. And it actually looks like if we continue through the middle and then up and around, we get a direct pass to the boss. That sounds like fun. And this amulet of protection looks good. Every two cards played on a single champion, that champion gets three armor. Yes. Ooh. And this overflow deals 14 damage and the mana cost gets reduced every time we play a card. Yeah, I can have fun with that. And then at the last campfire, we really don't need to heal anybody. So let's upgrade a card in our deck. Which card to upgrade though is a good question. Ooh, the heavy swing could be good. It upgrades the damage and if the target loses HP, inflict bleed. Yes, please. Okay, now I face the boss. Whoever this is. Oh, it's a bunch of wizards. Evil cult thingies with staves. Well, this will be quite the adventure. We have two runes of immunity on the ground and these wizards have impressive range. Oh, wait, hold on. Soulbind. If this unit dies, it will be revived after three turns so long as there are other units with Soulbind still alive. Okay, this is going to be rough. There's also that blue range there. I'm guessing that has to do with the rejuvenate or whatever abilities they have. But let's move the knight to immunity because that'll be good for him. And then the wizard can be right next to him for moral support. And the archer needs to be in a lot better position. So let's move you here. And since the knight's in attack range, we'll give you some additional armor. Thankfully, that first attack does nothing. Oh, and you're poisoned. That's what you get. Okay, now if the wizard came around here and did gust of wind down this way, then both of those guys get attacked along with the wizard staff attack and sadly the archer isn't close enough for dual shot and it seems like the archer is going to be attacked twice so that's gonna hurt oh and this one moved through the poison as well so that's two of the units that are poisoned i like that all right well let's overextend to hit one of you i feel like the best thing to do is going to be to take out one of them immediately just so we can reduce the number of threats so let's give some armor to the archer and then the knight can do some good numbers here and then that actually reduces overflow to zero Zero mana cost. So yes, booyah, good damage there. And then slash. And then we can gale shield the knight to give some knockback there. I like this. I like this a lot. So that should keep both of those units safe from all damage. Yep, right there. And then you do a thing. Oh, you targeted the wizard? Well, fine then. Be like that. And I think it'll be good if our knight provokes this unit and slashes this one to get rid of the armor. And then some wizard staff for damage. And you're going to do an attack. That's fine. And you're also going to do an attack. That's rude. But now the archer can do some good things to you for attack and then you as well and then this should heal the wizard with the life drain yes oh and you don't even disappear you just become a statue for three turns okay so we need to quickly deal a lot of damage to this other one and i think the best thing to do is the wizard just to give everybody some good armor now let's give you a bit of crippling and then far shot you and let's move the wizard out of the way so the knight can do his whirlwind for 20 damage and then the wizard can move right down here to do a cone of damage on you all right the knight took some damage on that one. This is a second of the evil wizards down. Very good. So now there's only one left. And then only one enemy is going to respond next turn. So let's get the knight scooted. Oh, we can get you to the immunity rune. And then the archer can move there as well. So they're in a better position. And then we'll keep the wizard close for a little bit of a power boost. You attack the wizard and now your friend is up. And you have some nice health with you. I'm sorry, crimson flow. Deal 10 damage and inflict vulnerable. Oh boy. Inflict bleed of the target it loses HP. I kind of just want to take you out. Keep you dead. And then get some damage on you. Give you some armor. And then the overflow is only one mana. So that's good. Now we just have a bunch of junk. You get some additional armor, but you also got poisoned. That was very dumb of you. The wizard can move right up here. And then the knight can move right up here to give you a quick slash, which gives the wizard enough damage for life drain. Now it's just this guy left, which is a little bit difficult. Well, let's just knock you into the rock. Very good. And you're going to attack the archer which sadly I can't grant armor unless it's this one. That's fine. And now you're up again. 
Ooh, if I move the archer down to here and then use a wizard to grant you gale shield, then you get pushed into the poison shrooms. That should be good for a little bit. And then we'll give you a quick overextend on that. We need to reduce your health as well because you're still maxed out. So we'll just give you all those shots and then give our wizard some armor. So you get poked. Yep. And archer gets poked. Oh yeah, heavy swing time. Thankfully, the knight can get right around to here. And then, oh, you're about to get some bleed as well. 14 damage plus bleed and all those things. Oh boy. And now you're back up. But they're all on similar low health numbers, which is good. And it looks like the wizard and the archer are the main targets. So let's go ahead and move you up and give you both armor. And then dual shot you to get rid of the armor. So five damage there. Regeneration. Ten damage there. Ugh. Okay, but there's overflow. And everything only costs one. Good. So let's slash you. Gale shield the knight to push them both in okay directions. Far shot you. Good damage there. We'll give armor to the archer because you're weak. And then overflow to get you dropped down real low. Yes. And you're poisoned now. <laughs> Have fun with that. And it looks like everybody got attacked that time. Wow. So let's see. Let's wizard staff you. 12 damage there. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. This is it. Aha. That's a good use of damage. Now, if I use Cone of Flame like this, hmm, I need a bit more room to move. So let's have the Archer back up to the Rune of Immunity. That should be good. And then overextend on you. Wizard backs up and then does Cone of Flame. Yes, for nine damage each. Now that one enemy is still weak, so I'll keep you that way and deal some major damage to you. Now let's see what you try to do. You move up for some bleed. Oh, and hurt the Archer. Okay. And you buff yourself with more armor. You're really defensive now. The Archer is the target of all these guys. I need to move the archer out of range, which thankfully it seems like can be just right over here. And then I need to get rid of your shields so I can take you out in a good swoop. So now you're going to attack the knight. I'm okay with that. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to pretend I'm okay with that. Whirlwind will be good right here to take out one of them and deal good damage to you. And then you're going to get crippled. And the archer is still safe from that one. And I still can defend my knight. So that should be good things for us. Except there's more armor. They're just really dragging out this fight. And and the wizard is not looking good right now. All right. And I don't want to get the archer in too much trouble. So we can move you down and be safe and then shoot you to get rid of your armor a little bit. Now, ah, the wizard's gone. Oh no. Just got to get rid of you and then move the archer out of danger up here. Oh my gosh. That attack does 13 damage. I need to get out of there. Well, the knight's still going to be safe, I think. I think you're gonna, yep, do a thing. Eh. And you're buffing yourself again. And now, oh gosh. I was thinking this was okay going into this, but this is turning out to be a lot more difficult than I imagined. Heavy swing to you, I guess. At least you'll get some bleed on you. The knight really needs to make an exit somewhere, but he can't. Okay, but I can do one, two there for some armor. I need the archer back in the fight. So move you down two and then shoot you. This is not looking good. Ah, oh, the knight is down. And so many cards are burning up because I don't have any more units. Ah! Run away! Let's just give you some armor to keep you safe. Uh, gosh. At least I can move down and shoot you for some extra damage because of the power thing. And then dual shot you, I guess, to get rid of your armor entirely. Oh, no. Ah, there goes the archer. Shoot! The run was going so well, but that was still quite a bit of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video for Sigil of the Magi. If you want to check out the game for yourself, it is now available on Steam, so be sure to follow the link in the description to check it out. Thanks again to the publishers for sponsoring this video, and thank you for watching. Sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Harold, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, and Lily Bites.